Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the maximum of your FPS in Roblox. So yeah, if you've been playing for a long time by now, you should know that the maximum FPS you can get by default in Roblox is 60. So you know that may be a little bit annoying if you have like a, you know, a monitor for higher refresh rate, like mine is like a 165. So yeah, I you know it, um, it's kind of like um, bad that you can't use it to its fullest potential. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to like, you know, put it, put the max or whatever you want and uh, yeah, let's go shit into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is go here to the search bar and search up roblox or just like that so then you should see this uh, roblox player so we're just gonna click your open file location so then you should see roblox player again in roblox studio you're just gonna want to click here um, um right click your roblox player and then uh open file location again so then you're going to make a folder called client settings just like i already did right here so now right click off the edge you know new folder and then you're saying the client settings so then you're just gonna open that folder and then uh, before you actually do this is one thing that you have to make sure that you have and it's that you can see the uh, file extensions. So to do that you're just gonna want to click uh, these three dots and then options and then view and then hide it and then wait I mean uncheck this that says hide extensions for known file types. Um, it should be unchecked. So I'm just gonna press OK. And then uh, you should actually see the file extensions. Like if you can see, if I go back, you should see the TXT, you know, DLL and stuff. So I'm gonna go back to this folder. So then uh, to make this .json file, what you're gonna want to do is right click and then press new. And then you're just going to want to make a text document, just like I did right there. I'm going to delete that because I don't really need it. So then you're just going to rename it to client app settings .json. So then it could say that it's going to turn on stable, just like ignore all of it. And then you're just going to open this and uh, yeah, you're going to want to open it with notepad. You're just going to paste this text in. So it's actually going to be in the description. So if you just copy that and paste it in there, and then you're just going to want to click your file, save, and then you can close all of this safely and close this. You're just going to want to open Roblox. Yeah, so here are the before results and these are the after results. And if you ever want to see your FPS, all you have to do is uh, hold down the shift key function and then f5 and then you should uh, get it here so yeah as you can see i'm reaching like about 200 fps compared to just reaching 60 and uh, yeah my computer isn't actually that good but you know uh, if you have like a god pc then you should be able to get like to 500 easily uh, but yeah you know that's about it and um yeah thanks for watching and uh see you guys in the next video uh, make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps with the algorithm and uh yeah bye